All right, so keeping that in mind now, if you notice, right, it says the reflection maps every point A, B, C, D, so that's the black one, to the corresponding point A prime, B prime, C prime, that's the blue one. So it's starting here, this is our one, right? And this is our two. Then from there, each point of the pre-image is the same distance from the line. So notice how, right, like D was one away, is one away on both sides. A is one, two, three boxes away on both sides. So it says, write the rule. So remember in the other one, our line of reflection was the x-axis, so that's why we highlight it. What would it be for this one? What would be our line of reflection? What's the middle of those two shapes? the y-axis, okay? So again, a total of one, two, so the middle of those two, right, which would be one, would be the y-axis. So we're gonna work more with that. Don't feel like I have no idea how she got that. That's not that deep. We'll keep working on it, okay? I'm more worried today about you actually graphing it. Okay. So we're gonna graph this over the x-axis. So is x left to right or up and down? Left to right. So I'm gonna highlight it because again, I just wanna make sure that we have that piece. And then we will start our counting. So I'm gonna start with D. How many is D away from the x-axis? One. So I would go one on the opposite side of the, that orange line and that would be my D prime. E is one, two, three away from the X axis. So one, two, three, that is my E prime. So notice how the two dots are two away here. They're two away here. That's a good starting place. All right, so do the same thing with A, B, and C. Do the same thing with A, B, and C. Okay, so that's kind of what it should look like. So what I want you to do is I, I want you to pause the video, right? Because that one's kind of hard to see a little bit. I want you to pause the video and I want you to try to do number five on your own and then come back. Welcome back. So the Y, right? The Y axis is this one right here. So we should have had D is one away. So one away on this side, that would be D prime. C is eight, one, eight. Oh, let's see, I'm so sorry. So you should have had your trapezoid looking sort of like that. Again, the AD is closest to that y-axis, so it should be closest on both sides, all right, on the reflection as well. So then what it wanted was not just what the reflection would look like, but also the points. So if you did the points already, baller status, if you did not, then pause the video and do those first and then come back. Welcome back. So the A regular, this one, should have been at 2, 8. And if you look, this one is at negative 2, positive 8. So notice what is changing and what is not. Notice how they're related with that negative and the non-negative. 